Hello, Commander Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Secret Missions with me, Bloankulo. We are in the Valgard system, on the third mission of the Valgard system, I believe. We're still flying rapiers with Iceman, who is still alive and still killing, stealing our kills. And we've got three pilots who are over 100 kills now. Pretty good. Hey, Blue, glad to see you're alright. I keep hearing that the situation is bad and getting worse. I think the stress is getting everyone. Seen a lot of off-duty pilots in here getting drunker than skunks and fighting each other. Two techs and a pilot tried to kill each other in here two hours ago. Some people are just going crazy, like maniac. I'm telling you, if we don't finish off those Kilrathi soon and get out of this place, we might end up killing each other. Save the Kilrathi some work. Come on, crew, hold it together. I got this. I'm almost single-handedly killing everything. <laughs> Hello, Blue. I have been sitting here thinking. My fiancé, what if he had been captured, like those poor souls aboard the Guinevar? Captured and forced to betray his own people over and over again. It is a fate too horrible to contemplate. I will tell you now, if I were to be captured, I think I would rather die. Better than the dishonor and shame of that what happened to Guinevar's crew. Poor spirit. Fiancé is dead. She's having a rough time. She doesn't have her girlfriend around to keep her cheery. There's no boss man around to talk her down. So, uh, yeah, let's go do our mission, I guess. Major Ankylo, we got promoted. We got two stars. Still no three star. Mission briefing. Listen closely, pilots, because we don't have much time. Our success against the supply depot has left a large number of Kilrathi fighters without a home base. Tactical says those ships are heading here. They'll be very low on fuel. They may try to take the Tiger's Claw by force. Pilots, you'll stay close to the Tiger's Claw and defend. As soon as those ships are destroyed, land immediately. We'll be jumping. Before more of those orphan fighters can arrive. Wing assignments? The commander assigns wing teams and addresses you. Blue, you and Iceman are mewing again. Get ready for immediate launch. Dismissed. Well, this is about as simple a mission as you can ever get. Launch, protect Tiger's Claw, land. But how many do we have to kill, is the question. The answer is over 10. <laughs> it's always funny, these missions have victory points. Uh, you get 25 victory points for the system by saving the Tiger's Claw. You know, or you get a game over because the Tiger's Claw is destroyed. <laughs> so it's kind of... I, don't know, I, kind of, I find it kind of funny. So, uh, Krantz, hey? Eh? Oh, boys. Starting off a little bit, uh... A little bit framey here right off the bat. So I don't think a Krant wave will cause too much problem, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. We got uh, Iceman just breaking formation, doing his thing, as he does. I think if there's any wingman that would help defend an escort or a tiger's claw, wingman might be the best because he's so aggressive. Maybe maniac, I don't know, but Iceman is a better shot and also just generally better. <laughs> well, this Krant is looking pretty messed up. Oh, I missed it. That was such a close shot. Should probably be focusing on the next Krant, not the one that's running away, but... I'm greedy, guys. I'm a greedy Ankylo. Alright, so we got two more. This one's shooting at Iceman, so we'll try to cover him. Or maybe it's shooting at the uh, Tiger's Claw, not even Iceman. So, you know, we'll defend our, our cap ship. It kind of looks like it may have rammed into the Tiger's Claw. I wonder if the Tiger's Claw takes much damage from ramming. Like, a little fighter against a giant cap ship like that shouldn't do much damage to the cap ship, I wouldn't think. But I could be wrong, I don't know. Please don't shoot me here while I'm uh, dealing with this guy. But, you know what? Jalthy, Iceman, you can break and deal with Jalthy. Now, 
Once again, we were told that the enemy were low on fuel. Oh, well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Ramming speed for win. Um, we were told that they were low on fuel. So it's possible that they are not going to be very ag agile. Like, they might not be doing full power um, maneuvers. I don't know for sure, but... Maybe they don't have as many missiles, or... That one just stopped. It, like, hit the af it hit the brakes. And now we're nearly dead because of one bad Jelfy. Honestly, like, it turned around and stopped right in front of me. I don't know how it did that. I I'm pretty sure I did not hit my afterburners, so... Maybe it's just going really slow. Usually you can go at 450 and you don't run into much, but because uh, the enemy seems to always be faster than you for some reason. But like I was just saying, maybe maybe the trick with this one is you should go lower, lower speed. Well, he apparently had some missiles. All right, how's the Tiger Claw doing? Oh, we got Gratha now. Anyway, I was trying to scan the Tiger's Claw, but. So I feel like maybe it's time for a a missile, <laughs> seeing as I am, you know, danger music here of dying. I don't think we've even been shot yet, we just crashed into things twice. Maybe I should slow down. Apparently something hit us. Well, I did fire a missile. That might have just been the, uh, the graphics of the missile exploding. Alright, two or three incoming missiles locked on. Be smart about this. Alright. Just gonna do some slideshow shooting. Oh boy. Once again, I am definitely going too fast. This is probably the first time I've had to actually go much below 400 in the middle of a dogfight. So there must be something about this mission specifically. Iceman. Out my way. I got this dude. You know, he's just trying to help. <laughs> he's just trying to get that kill. <laughs> he knows that I'm after the kill counter. Come on, Blue. Get your aim. Get your aim. Iceman, you're not supposed to be firing, remember? You're on my wing. Stop it! Bad Iceman. Alright. But surprise! There's more! This time we're at Krantz again. guy going after Iceman? Look, Iceman, I got... Oh, he's going after the Tiger's Claw. Shh. All right, I'm pretty sure... The fact that we burned through those first waves so quick, I think the Tiger's Claw will be okay, but... We don't want to waste too much time here. I was hoping the uh, death music would go away. I have no idea what happened there. I didn't even press the button, everything just went black. There's no glitches in this game, guys. No bugs. No idea what you're talking about. Probably shouldn't have shot that missile, but it hit him! Sweet! Dart hit the crant. All right, <laughs> this has been a surprisingly hectic mission for a, a relatively simple one. I can't.
can't even target the Tiger's Claw. Something weirds going on. If we get another situation where we can't land because the Tiger's Claw is like bugged out or something, I'll be a little cranky. Now it's possible this is the final wing. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're getting pretty close anyway. Well, ramming speed number three. <laughs> well, the Tiger's Claw is not looking too hot. Neither are we, but we didn't take any internal damage. I guess we had enough shields that we could do, like, not after burning ramming without taking tons of damage. Just, like, a little bit of damage to the armor, I guess. It's a it's a little bit legitimate strategy. Alright. <laughs> Stop messing around. Well, that's gonna be a real short episode today if all we had to do was protect the Tiger's Claw from, uh, 10 or 11, um, enemy ships. That was definitely not the best flying I've ever done. It was weird though, like, I swear, the enemy were definitely flying slower than what I'm used to, so... I wasn't using afterburners, I was just running into them at low speed. That's kind of different. Glad to see you made it back alive, sir. I didn't think you'd survive three rammings. Mission debriefing. Glad to see you made it back alive. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that. The recorder shows you nailed 13 of those cats, Major. Good work. I am pretty awesome. Iceman came up with zero. It was rough out fight out there, Colonel. Well, you'd best get some rest while you can, Blue. Dismissed. Hey, we finally got a reward! This is what really matters. Hangar deck. 1800 hours. For excellence in combat with the Kilrathi enemy. On or about whatever day it is. The Terran Confederation presents the Bronze Star to Major Ankylo. Now, you have two. Your courage is an example of the Confederation's finest de defenders. Two of those Confederations. Well done, Blue. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm so glad I got rewarded for my actions. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your crew. Mates. Okay, well, I mean, uh... Good, good. We are... Technically in Vigrid now. We're getting real close to the end. So, uh, Vigrid won, I guess. The, uh, we didn't get reassigned into a new, uh, a new squadron this time. So we'll have to see what, what, uh, what missions await us in Vigrid 1 next episode. Sorry for the shorter episode, but I'm sure by now you've noticed I'm doing two of these a day, so they're getting out quicker anyway. It's a compromise, it's a compromise. Say goodbye to Iceman, we won't be flying with him anymore, but uh, we, we surpassed 200 kills. That's crazy, that's crazy. Anyway, I'm having a good time, hope you're enjoying, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode for not quite the last system, but we're getting pretty close. Close. See you there, guys.